Some people have progressed in the last year, some have gone down. Some have progressed in terms of dunya, they've acquired more wealth, a better status and more things in their worldly life while they have lost out in their iman, in their deen and in other things. Other people have become better Muslims, their imans have become stronger, their character has improved, they've gained more knowledge. But Allah, for those who've acquired more piety, more taqwa, more iman, more knowledge, they have gained more. The other gain has been a gain as well, but that gain can go down. And when people leave this world towards the ultimate and the everlasting life, that gain necessarily will not benefit them. Allah has given us an opportunity on daily basis, Allah gives us an opportunity. Every day is a new opportunity. Allah increases His favors, Allah continues to provide for us, Allah continues to feed us, Allah continues to clothe us, Allah continues uh, to look after us and to bless us and to overlook our sins and weaknesses. Uh, turn, turn to Allah, repent and try and change yourselves, try and, try and turn back to Allah. Uh, whatever people get is what they deserve. Allah overlooks much that people do. But every now and then Allah sends some adab. Allahu Akbar. And then what Allah does? وَكَذَلِكَ نُوَلِّي بَعْدَ الظَّالِمِينَ بَعْضَ When people generally become bad then Allah and become zalims, zalim doesn't necessarily mean someone who does zulam upon somebody else. People do zulam upon themselves as well by disobeying Allah. This is zulam. And then Allah, when Allah decides to send adab, then what Allah does, Allah raises a bigger zalim from amongst the ordinary zalims. And when we look at what's happening throughout the Muslim world, in Egypt, in Libya, Syria, Yemen, Pakistan, and everywhere else, uh, Somalia, wherever, everywhere you look at Muslims killing themselves. Uh, Muslims killing themselves, Allahu Akbar. Thousands have been killed worldwide, and the blood of Muslims has become cheap. And this is Allah's adab. Allah imposes ummalukum a'malukum. Your leaders are a reflection of your deeds. And when people were good, then Allah gave Umar ibn Khattab was as the Amir. Allahu Akbar. When people were good, Abu Bakr as Siddiq was Amir. When people were good, then Usman radiallahu anhu was the Amir. Allah gave people Umar bin Abdul Aziz. When people had something, Allah raised Salahuddin. And when, when people had some goodness in them, Allah raised such rulers. But when we have become what we have become, we get people like Zardari. Uh, we get people like Husni Mubarak. And we get people like Qazafi and we get others. Uh, because we deserve what we get. Allah will not change the condition of a nation until the nation changes themselves. Uh, when we can't change our own lives, when we can't change our personal affairs, how do we expect the world to change? But this is human nature. And you can't see a whole bunch of hair on top of your own eyes, but you can, you can see one single hair in the eyes of another. And so Allah has given us an opportunity. One year came, one year is gone. It's an opportunity for people to reflect. And we are not here to enjoy ourselves. Don't, don't engage yourselves. Don't be worried about the glitter and the glamour of the world. Our history, our year ends with Hajj. And what is Hajj? It's a reminder of the sacrifices of a great friend of Allah. The year ends with sacrifice of Ismail Zabihullah. And on the first of Muharram, Umar ibn Khattab was martyred.